Hey agents, it's Matthew, and we're going to spend just a few moments introducing you to your Broadview telephone system. Uh, so in my introductory video, video, we talked about the fact that we're changing over to a cloud-based system, which means it's internet-based and not locally phone-based. Your cell phone becomes your extension for the office, and it's how you're going to manage calls. When you log into the system, you're going to come to a dashboard, and this dashboard shows you at a glance what's going on with your office phone. And don't expect to have to jump in here every single day, but if you want to make changes or manage your calls, this is a good place to start. So over here we have the My Voicemail system, and this tells you exactly what it seems it would. We've logged into the training account at extension 199, and I can click here to check voicemail. Right now there's no voicemails for me to check. But I could go and listen to them in order here, just like you would handle email, for example. Well, I don't know that I want to log in every time there's a voicemail, so I'm going to go to Voicemail Settings. And once I've logged into Voicemail Settings, I'm going to click on Enable Voicemail Notification. And in this case, I'd like to get, and I could set up multiple email addresses if I wish. So if I was on a team or I had an assistant, I could have them forwarded there. And I'm going to have those sent to training at callwellbankerelite.com and I want um, the audio file and I, you can choose to delete off the voicemail system I wouldn't I would leave them there in case you ever want to go back or gather them I would leave them there um, and then don't worry about these things down here you can direct uh, calls if you wanted to if it's ringing you see a number you can send it to somebody else that's a more advanced thing that we'll do at some other time make sure that you're uh, time zone is set to Eastern and then go ahead and hit save here. Okay, and so what will happen now is if there is a voicemail, it will actually not only save it here on the dashboard, it will also forward to my email account a copy, a downloadable file of the incoming voicemail. This is particularly useful if you need to save it for a transaction or listen to it on your computer later or, or whatever. You will also be able to check it on the app and I'll show you what that looks like in a bit. So call twinning is if I wish to have two numbers simultaneously ring, and that's something that we would set up in administration. So again, if you had an assistant or a team or a partner who's covering for you for a period of time, you can add them so both extensions ring at the same time. Call forwarding is just as it sounds. I'll set it up here so that when four times it rings, if I don't answer it in four rings, it's going to go straight to voicemail. I can send it back to the company office extension, forward it to another teammate or partner, or even send it to another phone number, so for example, my cell phone. Here is my phones. If I have phones issued, we, we don't in this case. Uh, there are no other phones I have to worry about extensions, and I'm not in any call groups, again, as a team or administration. And down here, this is a feature that we may enable at some time. It'll allow you to choose what outgoing caller ID number. So when you dial out from your mobile app using the phone, the number on the caller ID of the recipient may be the office number or a team number or something other than your cell phone number or extension. And right now, again, we haven't set this up yet, but in the future, you'll be able to drop down and choose which number. And then directory recording is what extension is called and what the name would be. And we will change that on our phone. Or you could log in or click on here and it's gonna ask you to record your name. It'll dial your phone, you'll log in there and then be able to record your name. So for example, I would say Matthew Rathman or training account. So when people call, they would hear the caller ID or name ID. Right, so that is just the brief dashboard. There are other services, and again, we'll be doing more uh, classes on these types of things, uh, but this is the basics, and this is what you're gonna use most of the time. And the cool part is, if you get lost, you can always go look at a video, and it'll take you through each step of the way in order to make sure you have that. Now, for the cool part, um, we are gonna actually look at the phone. So again, this is a cloud-based system. That means there's no phone on your desktop that the phone is going to be on your mobile device. And in this case, I'm an iPhone user. So I'm going to open up my iPhone here. And then there's an app. And you'll see here on the My Phone app, uh, this looks like a telephone. This, this app is actually the company telephone. So anybody in the company who dials your extension or forwards to your extension or calls your inbound number, 
this app will actually ring. You'll just keep it active on your phone. And one of the cool parts about this is your phone will be connected to the Wi-Fi um, in the office so that you're not using data, you're not using cellular service, but you have a nice solid tone. So some of our offices, you have bad reception. There's not good towers around the offices. So you'll be able to connect to the Wi-Fi in the office and still walk around with your cell phone and everything's with you all the time. Again, this phone is it always works whether you're in or out of the office it will be your extension that you can manage as you would a call so in this case I'm gonna take an incoming call and you can see I'm getting a phone call from the system I'm gonna hit accept my app opens up and I have some options here so in this particular app you'll see it's very basic like your your phone but there's a couple little treats here for you that don't exist on your cell phone so the first one is going to be the ability to mute, that's pretty common. A keypad, so when you're asked to dial extensions or numbers, you'll have that there. Oops. You have a speakerphone, you have the ability to put somebody on hold. You can add another call, so you can dial out and conference call in. And under more, you'll see this comes up for a number of features. Navigate back, takes you back to the screen. And then here's a new one for you, start recording. In the Commonwealth of Virginia, you are permitted to record a conversation in which you're involved in. So if you were um, uh, listening to other people talk, you can't record their conversation without consent. But since you're involved in this conversation and you're chatting with the other person, you could record the conversation and you could save that recording to review later on or if it's a risk management issue or you want to restate what a client said you would have that there. I would suggest you not use that file without speaking to a broker if there is a problem uh, to find out the best way by which to pull back that information and um, um, handle the situation if that's the case. I can also transfer. So if I wanted to transfer this call, so again, let's say that I'm sitting here chatting with uh, a client and I go, hey, you know what, my, my admin will help, help you with that. I can go ahead and type in the extension, hit the green button, it'll transfer from my phone to the other office extension in the company assuming you know what it is okay and let's see if we can do this yeah so I've just transferred this call now to the other number for assistance so that's it but you also have the bell like your phone it'll take the the contacts out of your phone and sync them so you could actually call somebody on your contacts list on your phone from your office extension uh, using that number and then you have your history of calls that are incoming and missed and then over here your settings and again it's pretty simple there's not a lot of settings for you to manage but if you do enter the system you can choose different uh, options here to look at history and then there's one here again that says auto record calls you could actually set that um, to yes don't know that I recommend it but you could set it yes and it'll just automatically record every phone call that you're on and then you can go back to your dashboard and then manage your call recorded calls here and delete them or save them um, for future use so again um, your video calls can come in and you could use video services it'll adjust uh, do make sure you have auto login there so that when you open up the app you don't have to log in with your username and password it's simply running in the background I've tested this it does not take a lot of your data it actually takes hardly any data at all until you're using the app and then it uses a normal amount of data on your plans if you're connected in the office of the Wi-Fi there's no use of your data or your cellular service so that's probably the best practice to have so that's it that's your phone. And so now you will be able to manage your incoming office calls, transfer and receive um, uh, uh, while you're in or out of the office on your mobile device and not manage two phones or even really necessarily two voicemail boxes because again, it's all on your mobile device. So we'll be doing more training, we'll have some classroom sessions, some hands-on stuff. So if you have any questions, feel free to let us know. Thanks for your time.